according to the information it says, for example, the legal representation, 120 feet of beachfront by 150 feet deep in size, recorded survey and full legal description to prevail. A couple of years ago, we were informed that the land or another plot had been uh, sold, which was immediately in front of our original uh, plot. And therefore, it meant that we weren't able to continue with any work there. It's been cleaned all ready to go because we paid, for example, 120,000 US dollars for it, which is 240,000 Belizean dollars. And we've been told that because another plot has been allocated, probably our land is now worth 20,000. So there's been a devaluation of the a, a devaluation of about 85%, yeah. <laughs> Who would you attribute, or to what would you attribute this issue? Has this been an, uh, the fault of the lands department in this case, or is this some other private transaction that has now overlapped? No, no clearly it's uh, not a private uh, transaction, uh, and the mission to allocate new lots has to come from the land. I mean, so uh, it has to be that. The register of land, I assume. No, I understand that you guys were planning to retire in Belize, correct? That's correct. Uh, talk to us a bit about your efforts in terms of um, wanting to develop the plot of land that you purchased in order to relocate to Kikaka. Well, of course, it involves a lot of work and effort, and uh, uh, because we paid a substantial money, we wanted to be sure about everything. But the reality is that uh, I'm just very glad that we didn't start uh, building because we would not have been able to sell the building. It would have been worthless because if this plot is developed, this non-existent plot, who knows? It might be a hotel, it might be a disco, it might be anything that's going to be built there. And uh, to have a kind of little house behind it would have been of little use or value. Uh, 